Finally, this cold email tool, Crack AI. The ChatGPT integration is perfect, it's seamless, it's affordable, and it's gonna be accessible for lead generation experts like me and you right now. Now, I've tested hundreds of these AI tools and each one of them has failed my tests. Apollo, Clay, all of them made it either too complicated or too expensive to actually use AI to scale your lead generation efforts. But this one is going to blow your mind. Let's pull up the curtain. I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly how I'm using this tool right now in my business. And I'll walk you through some secret tactics that you can steal from me and apply into your lead generation efforts. All right, we're here in instantly.ai, my favorite tool for cold email sending. I'm gonna skip a few steps so that I don't waste your time. But some of those steps that I skipped, one, you need to create a list of email addresses and people that you're gonna send emails to. The information and data that you're going to need in order to leverage this AI tool are the following. You're going to need their industry, you're gonna need their company name, and if you can, you can pull in job title and company description. You're gonna upload that all into Instantly by doing this. We're now here in campaigns and assuming that you already have your Instantly set up, you've got your email accounts hooked. We're gonna come into campaigns, I'm gonna show you where they put this new AI feature and where and why it's so powerful. So USA Wire AI Growth, this is the new campaign that I'll be building with you. And and this is a brand new feature. So I spent all weekend learning this tool so that I can share it with you today. And I'll admit there are some bugs, but it's still by far the most affordable and powerful thing that exists. So we're gonna come into leads and we're gonna import our data here. So you can either do this via CSV or Google Sheets. I always recommend CSV and make sure that you have all those data points that I just listed. Now I already did this, so here's my data points. We've got their email, their contact, their company, website, city, state, title, industry. That's the minimum that you're going to need in order to leverage this AI. Now, let me show you what's possible using this tool. Now, I remember before AI, a lot of people were using first lines as the opening sentence of their email. But the problem with these is they typically sounded robotic. They would talk about their mascots or their college, which is clearly something scraped from LinkedIn. And that stuff doesn't work. We've tried that. It fails. However, if we're creative with the AI tools and we're able to do this at scale using real information about the person and the company, we can use this information to create really, really powerful subject lines and first lines. Let me show you how I'm using it and how I think it's gonna benefit you as well. All right, so it all really starts with this brain icon in the top right-hand corner. This is brand new. You wouldn't even believe the AI was built into Instantly, except it is. Here it is, AI prompts. I'm gonna move myself over to the left to make room. Let's open this up and look around the new Instantly AI integration. It looks very simple at first. We've got Template Hub, which is very cool. You're able to use other people's templates other people's AI prompts so that you don't have to think about your own and come up with your own. And here's some examples of some AI prompts that Instantly provides and its members provide. Thank you, Mr. Timothy Wenger, whoever that is. So the first general unique opening sentence. So Timothy wrote a prompt and they don't give you the exact prompt. They just tell you the title and the description for writing a one-liner for a cold email. And if you've learned anything about cold email, that first line can go a long way for getting great open rates. It looks like a lot of people are using this one. The second one they provide for you here is called company name cleanup. Now, if you've ever received a cold email and say your company name was Lead Gen J LLC and you say, hey, Jay, I'd love to help Lead Gen J LLC generate more leads. I know that that was a templated email because you wrote LLC. Most normal people would never type LLC in that lead generation email. Company name cleanup will get rid of ink or LLC or anything extraneous at the end of a company name. So you can actually use that company name in an email with personalization effectively. Company compliment. So this will write a short compliment about the company. This can be effective in some cases. I don't particularly like this one. Some other ones that are effective, title cleanup. So this will clean up their job title. For example, if it's like VP of relations and blah, 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 it'll just give you the basics like a human would actually say. A couple different things that they've provided for intro lines, popular landmarks in cities. There's lots of different things provided here. I've also provided some of my own restaurant recommendation. There's some really creative things that people have come up with. So I encourage you to go through this template hub and see what other people are doing. Here's a couple of mine that I provided. So now that we've explored this template hub a little bit, and by the way, guys, this is brand new. If you're watching this channel, this is probably the first video about this new feature that's been created. So let's go into the next section, which is my templates. This is where you can actually create your own AI templates that you can either share publicly or keep to yourself and, and run on your own. So let's create a new prompt. I've already done this successfully. So I'll show you exactly what you can do here. Create new prompt. Now you need to be good at prompting chat GPT. You need to be able to give it specific rule. You need to understand how it thinks and how it provides information. So let's go ahead and create one right now. 
So one personalized variable that I like to use, which you probably just saw, is competitor. Typically, if a company in a specific industry is growing, they're gonna know who their top competitor is. And if you can compare them to that competitor, you're gonna have a good chance at standing out. So I'm gonna go ahead and write a new prompt here. This prompt is going to find a pain point for that person's industry. And then you can use that pain point in your email. Now, pro tip here, if you're segmenting your campaigns, for example, you're only sending emails to people who are electricians, then you already know what their pain point is and you don't need to use this specific prompt. I'm just doing this as an example. So say you're messaging a million CEOs, but you don't care what their industry is. This will be able to create a personalized pain point for each CEO based on their industry. So I'm not saying this is a prompt you need to use. I just want to show you how to create a prompt in here that you can then turn around and leverage within this tool. So let's go ahead and create this prompt. I'm going to pause the video, create the prompt, and then show you what I did. All right, I just finished writing that prompt. I'm going to read it out to you. Pretend you're an expert in insert industry. Pretend you are speaking to the CEO of a company in that industry. Now they know what they are. Now they know who they're talking to. Please identify the main pain point that most leaders in that industry are experiencing. So now we will know to use the pain point that most of those industry leaders are experiencing and then give it some rules. The output can only be one sentence. The output must be a question related to that pain point. Output cannot use names or introductions. You don't want it to try and say, hey, Roy, hey, Jay, you want to do that yourself. You want to have full control over that. Output cannot contain place holders. And then I gave it an example of a good output. How are you dealing with this common problem? And then I generated a test output. And that test output that I got is what strategies are you implementing to address the increasing regulatory compliance challenges in the chemical industry? It listened to me. Perfect. So now we've got a good prompt. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, it's really important when you're creating your own prompt to know that this cannot surf the web. So don't give this a LinkedIn URL or a website URL and expect it to go scrape for information. You can only give it relevant information here. So industry, job title, if there is an SEO description that you can import for that company, that is another good opportunity. All right, so let's go ahead and save this. All right, we gave the template a name, a description. I categorized it as marketing. We're gonna go ahead and make this public because why not? Let's give people access to my stuff. Cool, it went ahead and saved that. Now I can also access that in company hub. Let's see, pain point, find pain point in industry. Awesome. So one thing I've noticed, I would say it's a bug and instantly is when I try and run a template from my templates, it has some issues. So instead of running it from here, I'll create one, come into template hub and go ahead and run it from here. Now, before you're able to run any of these AI automations, you need to come into settings and insert your open AI API key. So if you don't already have one, you can just click on this button and sign up for an open AI account. It is very cheap, even if you're overseas. Using the API for ChatGPT is negligible in cost, especially if you're running 3.5 instead of four, which my guess is that's what Instantly is running. So if you're not already doing that, go ahead and sign up for an open AI account. If you don't have one, your screen won't look like this. It will prompt you to sign up. Go ahead and sign up and then create new secret key. It's very simple. And then you're gonna paste that right here and hit save. Now let's actually look at what's running these does. So I've already ran a couple on this lead list and I encourage you that when you're experimenting with this to start with a small lead list. I've only got 193 contacts in here and that's on purpose. I wanted to make sure that this actually works. So let's come and see what I've done so far. So this was me experimenting with my competitor prompt. It's essentially looking at the industry and a top competitor, but only private companies. So once I hit run, it goes through each of these contacts and each of these industries and finds a top competitor in their exact industry. So this is something that wasn't really possible before. Now you could do workarounds using Google Sheets and ChatGPT integrations, but never before have you be able, been able to upload a lead list and then automatically add a new column with all of these automatically added before you had to go into ChatGPT. Now, if you've watched my channel before, you might say, Jay, this is the same thing that you were doing in Google Sheets. Why is this any better? Why is this any different? And I'll tell you exactly why. One, you get to leverage community knowledge, people's prompts that are actually working. Prompts is the power to ChatGPT. Two, simplicity. If you were to do this using the old methods, you'd have to go into Google Sheets, upload your list, add the ChatGPT Google Sheets integration, click and drag them all the way down, make sure that the results are good, then export them and import them into instantly. Now you have your lead list. You upload it, you run the automation and you're done. It saves so many steps. It saves so much time and the simplicity is there. So let's go back in and show you what happens when we actually run one of these automations. So let's run the one that I just created. All right. So I went into the template hub, find pain point in industry. 
it's going to ask you to put your industry in here. Obviously it needs to know what it's going to pull from. And then you can either create a new column or you can overwrite an existing column. Because I don't have a column for a pain point, I'm going to create a new one and I'm not going to overwrite because there's nothing to overwrite, it's a new column. Generate for all leads. And if you want and you should generate a test output first. This will generate just one. And if it looks good, you can go ahead and scale this up. All right, now let's go ahead and run one of these automations. I'm gonna choose one from the template hub that I think might actually be useful in my campaign. So I know who I'm targeting here, so I'm not gonna use mine. Instead, let's use one of these. Now, as you can see, I'm looking at all these different companies and we've got LLC, we've got Inc. We've got a lot of ones that look Inc again. If you try and send a cold email and you didn't even go the step to clean up the Incs and the LLCs, it's not going to have a good effect. So let's go ahead and run the company name cleanup. So let's go into AI prompts, company name cleanup, insert company name, create a new column that's company name cleanup and generate for all leads. Now we have a success icon, awesome. It's going to start running. Now this does take a little while because it's running each individual contact through ChatGPT to generate an output and then putting that output back in instantly. So it does take a few minutes and the more complicated the automation, the longer that's gonna typically take to run. So at this point, you can go take a break, have a snack, wait five to 10 minutes, build out your sequence as this stuff populates with data. And you're going to see it start to populate with data pretty quickly. So let's refresh this page and come all the way to the right hand side where that new column will be created. Now, as you can see, company name cleanup has been created and it has already started going through and cleaning up those company names. These are nice and clean. See, it's taken all the all caps ones and it's made them not all caps. It's removed the inks and the LLCs. Now, this is something that I can absolutely use. All right, now the fun part, let's use AI in the actual sequence. So I'm starting from scratch with a sequence and we're gonna see how we can incorporate this. So subject line, Let's use congratulations, clean company name. So now you can come into the personalizations and grab the new variables that are already here. Here's how I like to use that competitor personalization that nobody else is doing. Nobody expects this. And if you start using this, it's probably gonna work for the next six months until everybody sees this video and then it's gonna stop working. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what I do here. Hey, first name, I've been following your success and I am convinced company is going to be the next competitor. Now this looks like you actually took the time to write that first sentence. One, because their company name is cleaned up, and two, because you've got a competitor that's actually relevant to their company in that first line. So now you can basically say whatever you want, but you've got the open, and that's the most important thing about personalization and about this AI tool. Now you can go ahead and pitch your product and exactly what you want. I went ahead and finished this offer, so I figured I'd show you how I write a cold email. So after that first sentence, I'd love to do a feature about you in USA Wire magazine. You guys deserve it. There's no charge for this at all, but if you feel like saying, thanks Otter PR, when you share your success, that would be appreciated. Can I send over some info? Nice open-ended question, good lead magnet. This is going to do very well. All right, my call to action to you is to go into instantly.ai, sign up for a free trial. If you don't already have one, you can use the link down in my description and start playing with this AI tool. Start using some of the prompts that are already there, ready for you, and start experimenting with some of your own. The more creative that you can get, which means nobody else is likely doing it, which means it's probably going to work better. If you haven't already had experience with ChatGPT, go in there. It's free. Start to play with it. Start to prompt it. Start to learn how to prompt. And then you can get very good at getting it to do very unique things that are going to make your emails stand out from everybody else's. Now, if you want to know how to get 90% open rates and 20% reply rates, this is how. Personalization, strong lead magnets. And if you want to know more about that, please watch the next video and I'll see you in the next one. See ya.